Hello Lulas, welcome back to my channel guys. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Kick, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad and give this video a thumbs up. If you would like to join the Chatterbox, which is a paid membership, the link is in the description bar. If you don't see a join now beside the subscribe button, subscribe button, it is $1.99 to join and you do have to be 18 years old or older. Today I am sharing with you my baby Rico, which is the Jude Sculpt by Oka R. Um, this is my first time, and maybe in the past when I was learning, when I just started painting, maybe I painted, when I think about it, I'm thinking like some of those very old kits that I painted could have possibly been German vinyl as well, or maybe it was just a PG color vinyl, I don't know. But I think, but as far as I know, this is the first um, kit that I've painted um, <clears throat> here recently in German vinyl. I normally don't order them if it says German vinyl, but this one did not say that. It just said neutral, a neutral color vinyl. And that was not a false description because it actually did come in a very neutral vinyl. And I can tell you, I'm just going to share my experience. I'm going to show him. To you guys in a in a second let me get over here um i will say it, it really was a, um a neutral it did come in a very neutral color vinyl these are his feet um and i got excited because i was like oh this looks different. The vinyl looks different than the other vinyl. I knew right off that it was something different about it. But what I did notice that was a plus to the, sorry guys, I'm so ashy. The, what I did notice um, that was a plus about this vinyl um, is that when you get the other sculpted babies, you can tell where the factory goes in and like fill in the back of the legs or that the factory makes a little bit of changing to the kit that wasn't the original sculpting um not a whole lot but um like in, like I said in the back of the legs you can see where they like filled it in or something um I guess maybe for the molding process but with this kit I noticed that there was like it was just like perfect it it looked as if it was an oak or something like it was just all the the details of the sculpting just was beautifully shown in the kit so I was really excited about that part. I instantly fell in love with with him in person and before I saw him, the sculpt itself. The sculpt itself is so beautiful, I, I am not lying. As soon as I get some more money, I am going to um, buy me a few just to, just to have on hand to paint at a later time. Um, just because, like I said, the sculpting is just so beautiful like you really it's like the kid doesn't even need paint like this is one of those kids that you don't have to really add to there sometimes kids don't have a lot of detail and you kind of add it within the painting um if that makes sense maybe to other painters it does um but this is my baby boy and i'm gonna zoom into his face in a little bit i'm gonna take his mitts off for you guys um now the thing about painting the, the vinyl, this vinyl, is that it soaks in the paint. It's like you're painting in vain <laughs> for a while. Like it, But this one didn't take the paint as bad, actually, at first. It was looking like I was making progress, but then I kept noticing after so many layers, I'm like, wait, he's really not <laughs> really doing much that, that he should. And so I decided to take the advice of, you know, many people in the community that I always I always hear them say you know mat the kit and it will grip the paint more so I did and um I did it very lightly because I I didn't want him to be like heavily varnished before he was painted so I did it very lightly um and he began to take color um I when I zoom in I'll see if you guys can see but his face is is really detailed um he has Motlin, his whole head is modeled. Um, he has a few baby scratches. He has 
about three pimples. <laughs> I, I, I said I wasn't going to do that to him, but I couldn't help it. And they're, they're very, very, very natural for the, I ain't going to say the first time, but I think some of the most na more natural ones that I've done. Um, but they're very, very tiny. It's only like two on his chin and one in between his brow. Um, but the face alone, just the sculpting, everything is just amazing. Um, he has beautiful hands as well. Um, his hands, the, the open hand is really nice. It has a lot of wrinkles and detail in it. Natural wrinkles, not overly done. And then the fist is a beautiful fist with really nice nail beds, which is really nice. Um, so I'm going to try to zoom in to him. See if I can show his face a little bit closer for you guys. But I am very, very much in love with him. Like, he doesn't have to have hair no time soon. He actually looks really good, ball. Um, I will eventually get him hair, but right now I'm not in a rush to get him hair. Because he don't really have to have it, to be honest. He's like Memphis. He's a baby that don't have to have hair. But, um, so yeah, that's about as close as the camera is getting. I'm trying to lean in so that you guys can maybe see so he doesn't have a whole lot of veining but he has a little bit of veining um but yeah uh let me see so let me see if i can put a little bit more light on him so you guys can see like his pimples are very good like th there this is a pimple right here and then on his chin right there is like two but like i said he has mottling in his face and stuff and he's just he's just um he just looks like so real like um last night he stayed in my room with me but it was it was funny even with the lights off he looked real like he didn't like even though i couldn't see his color or anything he just still looked real that's the sculpting that has nothing to do with the painting i did do his nails really really neatly manicured um his his nails and stuff um so i was really happy with him um <clears throat> i probably could have kept going and it would have taken a while because it's still, even though you mat them, they still take a while. It would take a while to get him darker, but he would have gotten darker. And um, I think he would have been really, really cute, dark too. But um, I, this was what I seen for him, um, for me to paint. I wanted to paint him. This <laughs> I wanted to paint him as. A lighter baby now I decided that he would be more like um oh I, I didn't realize you guys I decided that he would be more like a I'll still zoom in close let me so much a little bit too much light on him that he would be uh maybe I said he's going to be like Mexican and black because his daddy is um, Rico from uh, or Rio. What is his name? From uh, <laughs> Good Girls. So, yeah, so I named him Rico. Rico Montana is his name. He is Rico Montana. So, I did put him on. Here, I'm going to take this off for you guys just. Let me see. I have to see what you guys are. You guys can't see. Hang on. I did put him actually on a a different body. One that I had in my stash here. It's not a it's not one of my custom bodies, but it's like a biracial skin tone body. I found that it was just a little bit longer than the body that he came with. And I like that. And it was a little bit more petite. So he does have this body that kind of matches 
with him nicely because it's uh like I said it's a biracial body but it's really nice um it's from Bountiful Baby just FYI so I may order me some more of these because like I said it, it's really nice and it blends in really nice with him so I don't know if you can if you guys can see that but he is such a real boy oh my gosh guys when I tell you I've never loved well I say this every time <laughs> that sounds stupid I was about to say I've never loved a baby so much but I will say this um this is him with a hat he's he's so cute with a hat on too right guys um I will say though and this is no offense to other people. Sometimes I feel a little bad when I say stuff like this because I feel like, you know, other people feel like, what are you saying about my scope? You know, type thing. But it's not to take away from somebody else's scope. I'm just saying my opinion, my emotions. This scope is the most beautiful scope that I've seen in all my years. This scope is number one on my list. I... Like I said, plan to get another one. And this is one kit that I will probably have multiples in my collection. I have never seen a kit that's so realistic in my life. I, I, I absolutely do not um, love a kit at this point more than I love this kit. I, I, I just think that this is the most beautiful kit. I don't, I don't know, but the face alone just looks like a real kid. Like, I, it, it gives me goosebumps. Like, look at his face. And I'm not even talking about my painting on it. I'm talking about, let me, let me explain this. I was so intimidated by how beautiful the kit was. I was scared to paint it. Um... I was literally scared to paint it because of how beautiful the sculpt was. I did not want to mess this sculpt up. Um, so I took my time painting this kit. And I was not going to give up. And I'm going to paint another one and another one if I can. I gotta sell, I'm even thinking about selling my Knox by Laura Lee Eagles um, kit. And I, I probably will put that up for sale. But... I really, I feel like I need to sell some of these kits in here because I'm not going to paint them all. But I, I really want to get a couple more of these kits, to be honest. So, if you guys want to send me a gift, send me a Jew kit. <laughs> Look, I'm begging for a Jew kit. Just kidding. But, um, serious. Um, but his feet and his feet are so, like, beautiful. Um... Now, because his painting is very soft, and I'll be honest, in person, it's not a whole lot to, like, his limbs and stuff. He is he got some mottling in his limbs and stuff. Oh, wait. You guys can't see. Let's see. Let me get it where you guys can see because I'm, I'm going to show you guys. I don't feel like he needed it. A whole lot um this is a different skin tone I've never reached this skin tone before um I think I got similar with Susu but I mean Maggie but not not the same at all um he's a different he's still a different mix so um anyway so it's very subtle. His coloring, coloring, his coloring, is very subtle, but you know his feet. Oh God, you guys can't see what I'm seeing. Okay, his feet are so detailed in the sculpting, but you don't have to do so much. Like I, I didn't feel like I needed to do so much, but I did do some little stuff in the coloring, but. I just wanted him to be just natural. So, like I said, it's it's not now his face. I think his face have 
a lot more in person. Well, it's showing up pretty good, but I feel like like you can't really see his the mottling in his cheeks and stuff like that um, as much as in person. But it's very subtle in person too, because I didn't want him to. This face is just so beautiful. I didn't want him to be a very um, bruised baby, but I wanted like his whole his head to be you know modeled and stuff um he does have a little like i said a little scratch on his nose but i wanted everything about him to be very subtle and natural because he just has such a serene face um don't know that i see a girl in this kit but i can see it being possible um because he's he is really pretty um let me see i have a girl hat here just real quick because maybe I will paint one and try to make it a girl but his face is very strong featured for a boy and this was a portrait baby anyway too um yeah so it to me it just I think you can you know if I was to take if I was to take um I would probably make the cheeks a little bit more rosy but I would take not neutral colors it would ha put on really girly colors and I think you could pull it off but this is really like all boy but um it is a portrait of a real boy baby but still I think you can make anybody a girl but to me the face just is very strong for a boy um but I think that is so serene that you can definitely make it a girl um right hairstyle um, but this kit, well, I guess you could with frilly headbands, but I would definitely put hair on it if I was doing a girl. But yeah, anyway, when he gets rooted, it'll be very soft and very baby fine. But he will not, he probably won't get rooted to next year. So anyway, this video has been extremely long. Thanks guys for watching. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, also one quick last thing since I already made it super long. Um, I, I did get it spot inspired to keep going with my toddler kit, the Mealy. And she seemed like she's trying to get some color, but she's not a priority for me right now. So it'll probably be forever. <laughs> Maybe she'll be done by Christmas. Who knows? But, um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm not going to give on, uh, give up on that one just yet because if he was to, able to, but his vinyl was neutral. And I'll tell you, I do not, I'm not opposed to this vinyl, this particular vinyl, like I am the Ping Lao vinyl. I, I cannot take that vinyl. I will not order another one of those kits again um, after this one. I just don't want to lose my money that I've invested in that kit. So, but this, this kit, I will, I will try it again and again until I get it, like, to me he's he's perfect but he's he's very he's very um peaches and cream he's there's nothing like major major on him but i i love him anyway guys that is all um thanks for watching bye bye